Welcome to MacroCode. If you're new to this channel, consider subscribing. So as you can see, this is our employees management system. So I can sign in here. Then this will take us to the landing page. So you can see we have our landing page here. Then you have the clients. So here you can see the clients. You can add the client. You also have fixed assets. So this is what we did on our previous video. Then you have HR and payroll. We have employees. So you can add new employee provide their details even up to the photo, then holidays, leave adjustment, leave balances, leave periods. You can do leave types and leave applications. You can add leave applications. You have system users, roles, profiles, uh, audit loops. Then you have the approval entries, the workflow user group, departments, designation, countries, banks, cities, system codes, and system code details. So here, when you are creating assets, you are able to add uh, assets. So you will provide the asset name. So this will be table. Then you'll say this is furniture. Provide the, the asset serial. So this is uh, serial. Then I'll say this is uh, uh, wood. Then employee, responsible employee, you'll choose the employee name. So here we didn't add a photo on our previous video. So we need to add photos here. So to attach a photo, that's what we'll be doing today. So you can see here we have uh, an asset has been added. So one thing that you need to do, we had actually done something on our employees where we were adding a photo. So one thing that we need to do is we need to have, uh, you see this is the photo. So we need to change the input type. So I'll just uh, uh, copy this. Then if we go to our, our fixed assets, then we need to change the input type. Where is it? Photo. So I'll just uh, just paste this here. So you can see it is input, but now you choose the type and you can specify the type of files that you accept. Then here you can say asset photo. So once you have asset photo, so I'll just do here photo. Then uh, I'll just remove this. So on our photo, on our page here, we have this. So what we need to do is we can define the method. We'll just do here post. Then here we can do uh, in type. Then we'll do multipart form data. So ensure you define that. Then on our photo, uh, what we need to do is uh, on our controller, we need to add something here. So here we'll just do comma, then I form, I form file. So this one. So we'll do, do I form file. Then you need to provide the name of the file. So what is the name of the file? On our fixed asset, the name is asset photo. So here you'll just come here and we do asset photo. So this photo will now have our photo here. So we had done something on the employees where we were saving a photo. So I want us to just copy that. So you can see here we are taking the photo. We check if the photo is there, then we save it. So we can copy this line of code here. Then go to our fixed assets. Then I'll just add it here. So here, instead of now doing employee, we do asset photo. Then we check if we have anything. Then here we say asset asset photo then you pass the photo the, the the asset photo it will get the name then you have the asset photo uh, then uh, we'll now do the uh, fixed asset we'll now assign our photo name uh, from what we've generated here so the file name is here so we generate the file so that we don't have uh, names in our folder with the uh, photos in our folder with the same name and you can see we are actually even adding the timestamp now we have the I configuration. So we need to inject that in our constructor. So this is it. So I'll just copy that, go to our fixed asset. Then I will just paste it here. Then we need to have this here. And you can see it has already been added. So this is, uh, so this is actually something good that you need to you be using uh, uh, Copilot. So if you are using Copilot, you can see I'm actually having my Copilot active here. And in case you want to see how you integrate that, you can comment down below and we'll be able to guide you through.
So as you can see now, we have our asset and we have our configuration file. We have this is uh, file settings. So this file settings, you will get it under app settings.json. You can see I've set it here. And this is where I'll be uploading my file. So this is my document. So you can see here. And in case I want a different folder, I can create a different folder. But for now, I can just leave it uh, that way. Now, if I go to fixed asset and I try to, so let's just create another asset and we try to upload a photo. So we notice 90% of you guys are watching our videos and you haven't subscribed. Please consider subscribing if you haven't subscribed and uh, which goes a long way in ensuring that we provide this content to uh, all of you guys. So, and in case you have a feature that you want to see in this particular app, uh, consider uh, commenting down below and also suggesting a better way on how we can handle things here. So we're also, we also learning from you guys. So here on our fixed asset, I'll just do that. I'll just provide my number. I'll say this is a uh, uh, USB. Uh, then I'll say here, this is computers, provide my serial. Then model, I'll say this is uh, compute, I'll say storage. I say, oh, let's call the, let's have this as HP. Then employee here, I'll do my employee. Then you can see I, I'm able to select the name. So here I can pick some of the uh, names. So let me just pick some of the images here. I don't know here, I have some screenshots. So you can see these are some of the, so these are some of the files that I have. So I'll pick one of the name. So I've picked one of the file, as you can see. Then if I pick the date here, so if I click save, so let's put a breakpoint. So I'll put a breakpoint here. So if I just click uh, create, we need to see the file. So you can see on the file, we have the file, the content type, we have the file name, the header, the length, and you can see the name. Now, if because the length is more than zero, it will actually go inside. And you can see our file name has been generated. So we you can't actually have this particular name, even if you are doing a lot of uh, files, because it is actually based on at, uh, seconds. Then it will get the location of our path. You can see this is the path. And this is what we had actually set in our app settings. Then I'll proceed. Then we have uh, our combined path with the file name. So you can see here, then our file name is here. Then if we proceed, we'll get our file saved. And you, you'll see now our, our photo has been assigned the file name. So if we proceed, then our asset will be saved. So you can see everything is OK. But now we need to add a success message. And that is what we've been doing. So for every create, we try to add the success message here. So I'll just come here and a fixed asset, and I can also do the same. I don't know where we were adding, so let's just check, yes. So we can just add them here. So here I'll say fixed asset, details created successfully. And you might also want to see the how the file has been saved. So we are saving the the file name in our database. So we are not saving the the bytes, but we are saving the file name. So let's uh, recreate another file. So that is another fixed asset. Then we try to save the uh, upload a photo. So if you want to upload, the, so let's just open the database so that you're able to see how that is uh, done. So if we go to our database now for employees management system, and we should be able to see fixed assets. So under fixed assets, uh, we'll have all the assets that we have in the system. And you can see now we have our file name here. So this is our file name. So we are saving all the files that we are uploading to the database. Now, if we go to file system, uh, fixed assets, so there we go. So if I create new, I can do this. Select computers. I say a desktop. desktop. 
then I can have computers, then uh, serial number, then model, then employee here, then I choose a photo, then I, I can put the, the asset description or notes, then if I click save, so it will hit our breakpoint, so I'll proceed. And you can see we now have our success message and our asset should be saved with the new name. So you can see we now have two assets with the name uh, in the system. So you can see it is the same, same asset, but the only thing, assuming you upload a photo multiple times. So you can see we can't, they're actually different names. And what uh, differentiate these two is actually the timestamp that you've added. But in case you upload the same, same photo, you'll be having the same, same photo. So this is how I'm trying to differentiate them in the system. So here you can see now this, we've tried to upload uh, our photo and that is okay. So if we click on uh, edit, so you'll realize that this is how the form looks like. So we need to also change this and ensure that we are having everything in place. So same way we were doing departments. So I'll also do the same for, for our, so I'll just copy this up to here for our fixed assets. So I'll just go to edit and I can also paste this here. Then I'll try to close uh, some DIVs. So let me zoom this, sorry, sorry. All right, so I need to copy this. Then if I just format, you can check if our DAVs has been closed and you can see we haven't closed everything. So this one we need to close for the form and the format, uh, let's check. So I think all is closed. So what we need to remove is we need to remove our created by all these here up to here. So that needs to be removed. And also we need to do here MD6. So this one, we need to update it now for all the other sections. So I'll just update it, I'll update it. Also update this one, I'll update it. So there we go. So then here we'll do this. Also do that, try to do that, there we go. So if I format that, then we'll be having our arrow. Then you'll notice one thing in our assets. So we are doing, when we are editing, we are actually borrowing some very important things, these ones. So you don't want to temper with the created by and created on. So these two has to come back uh, the same way it was added. So if I just do this and just add them here. So you can see you have the ID created on and created by. So when you edit, so this one will say, sorry, sorry, sorry. We are adding, we, are, we have actually added it in the wrong place. We need to add it in edit and this is where we need to add it. So here you see we have created uh, by and created on and we have the ID. And you can also do here method, it's the same case. And you can do uh, any type, then we'll say here multipart form. So for the for the for the form, you can actually recopy what we have uh, on this particular section here, and have it. And uh, if we go back to edit, you can copy the entire thing and just paste it here. So it will work the same so that you don't, uh, in case you had done something like these options, you, you, you already have them. So, and then this will say update fixed assets. So that's one of them. Then here we'll have update fixed assets. So that is uh, cool. So if I just do that, then if we go to our controller under fixed assets, then on edit, so you'll see we have uh, everything in order. Uh, there we go. Then for posting, so I'll remove this. I'll also remove this. We need something. So we need these three here. So I'll, I'll, I'll also copy this. I'll, I'll need these ones. So here, I'll do fixed assets. 
then status instead of created by i'll do modified by so we are now modifying so then here i'll do modified on then i'll provide the status that's okay then here i'll need to pass the user id for here we are saving the audit trails then one thing that i need to do as well is on the image so remember we have the photo here I'll also need to pass the photo. So I'll pass the photo here on edit. Then here I'll do, I'll copy this here and I'll paste it, uh, I'll paste it here. So I can save the photo before even doing anything. So you can see this is our photo. So that is when if the photo is uh, having some data. So let's uh, try to relaunch our app and see. So if you're new to this channel and you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing, like the video and comment down below. So I'm going to now uh, do the editing of fixed assets and then we should be able to move to something else. So here I'll just uh, copy that there. Then if I go to fixed assets and I click on edit, you can see I'm able to get my data. The only thing that I don't have is the photo. And I think uh, if you want to see how that is done, you can comment down below. So I'll attach this, put a breakpoint when we are editing. Then I, if I save, you'll realize that we have our photo here as well. And we already have that. Then our file will be able to, will be saved based on. So you see on the fixed asset, we are not dropping two things. We have the created on and created by. Then we have the modified by and modified on because we've modified now. Then we have the fixed asset. We've attached a new photo. Then everything is here. So if I proceed and save, we should be able to get everything here. Then you can also add our message. So I'll just do, I'll add the message here. So you can say fix asset updated, details updated successfully. So I'll just do, try to relearn, then we try to do one uh, fix asset. So that is a simple way on how you can create a crude uh, modules within your app. So for those who are new to this channel and you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing, like the video and comment down below. So I'll do an update. So you can see I can select a photo and I can update. So if I update, then we'll get the success message. So you can see fixed asset details updated successfully. So that is it. And uh, on our next video, we are going to create a different uh, module. And as well, we are going to update this particular chart. So we'll, we'll be adding more charts here, just to reflect what the system uh, entails. So that is it, and see you in our next episode. Bye.